In exercise 7.8, question 6, we're again dealing with the same equation for the swept area of a turbine. In terms of what we know, we're told the swept area is equal to 2830 meters squared, and we're asked for the diameter in this case. So we we'll have to be careful at the end because we will work out the radius and then double it to get the diameter. Just again, we must express our answer to two decimal places. Now the swept area A is equal to pi or squared. Again, let's first of all eliminate the pi by dividing both sides of the equation by pi. And so area divided by pi equals pi or squared divided by pi. So the left hand side and the right hand side have been divided by pi. Any two numbers divided by themselves, so pi divided by pi will cancel out to give 1. And so we can now rewrite the equation as r squared equals a divided by pi. Now we're not looking to work out r squared, we're looking for the value of r, and so we must take the square root of both sides of this equation. Now the square root of r squared is just r, and so r equals the square root of, and we can now start to sub in the respective numbers for area. So the square root of 2830 divided by pi, again I recommend pit this division inside brackets, work it out, and then take the square root. And the radius equals 30.0136 and it continues to meters. We're going to have to double that. We're going to have to multiply this by 2 to get the diameter which equals 60.027 and it continues meters. We're asked to give our answer to two decimal places and so the diameter should be 60.0326 meters. And that concludes this particular question.